What's going on, my outdoor crew? How is your Saturday going? Hope it's doing well. One week from today, I'll be in the Smokies. I can't wait. Um, got some new things that uh, there'll be more videos coming on very soon. You'll see this probably Tuesday. Um, something pretty cool I've always wanted. It's going to go in the truck. Um, and I got something I'm going to be taking with me on the to the, on the Smokies trip that um, I'll be testing out thoroughly while I'm there. <clears throat> but uh, you'll see the video for that when I come back also. So anyways, um, got a mail call. We're going to have to put a sticker on the fridge over there. But before I get into the main part of the video for this Saturday, I wanted to first remind you to check all the links down below. Go get your mid 10 outdoor t-shirt or hoodie. Uh, check my affiliate links from Amazon. Any of my gear that I buy, I leave the link. It's all in one little store thing that you can click on and see the products. If you don't want to buy anything from that list, you can always continue searching. Buy something on Amazon through my affiliate link. And, well, I get a little money back. doesn't cost you any more. And I would appreciate it. Also, if you get a chance and looking for first aid equipment, head over to my medic. My code's still down at the bottom. Mid-10-20 to get 20% off of my medic. They've got all kinds of cool things there on their website now. I would appreciate it if you go check them out. Like I said, once again, doesn't cost you any more to use my code. Actually, get 20% off. And they help me out. And I would appreciate it. If you help them, help me. So anyways, several opportunities if you want to help Mid-10 Outdoors out and help fund some other trips and stuff. And got some more things coming. Got a trip coming and didn't see coming. And, uh, well, I'm not going to say any more on it. It'll be a surprise. Um, sorry, I'm rearranging the camera a little bit also have something I want to try out. I'm not going to do a separate video on this. But I saw this online. I've seen it a couple times. But it's for Coleman. Well, I don't know that you can use any other. I'm sure you can. Any of the generic uh, propane cylinders. This one's 16.4 uh, ounces. This thing will measure 16 and 14 ounce bottles. So I was trying to figure out because I'd seen it and I was like, that's pretty cool. I want to see what that's about. And um, so I got one in and this is a brand new bottle. It's never been used. So what I did figure is it works by weight. It doesn't measure by how much gas is in it. So when I picked the bottle up, if you can see that, Let me make sure I got this on there right. Yeah, it just slides over. Now, according to this, this is not a full bottle, but I thought it was. And that's kind of crazy that it's showing that it's not a full bottle. Um, I thought it was still a full bottle, but it, and it possibly is not because the label is kind of doofed up on it. So it's almost like I've used this before. Matter of fact, there are scratches on it. So I think I have used this one before. It doesn't feel like it's full. So that's how it works. It works off of weight. It weighs the bottle, and if it can detect it's you know the full weight of a 16 ounce bottle, they'll tell you it's full. So anyways, it's a pretty cool little tool. We'll try it out over the weekend when I go down when I go to the Smokies and see. Um, we'll test the bottles, the different bottles I've got. I've got one in the um, cook kit now that has been used a couple of times, so it should not be weighing full. And when I weigh this one again, it's still showing it three quarters of a bottle. So this one I must have used at some point, and I just put, I always keep the caps on them, keep them from leaking or anything. But looking at the bottle, it's been used, I can tell. Like I said, it's got a couple scratches on it, so. I think it's a pretty cool little tool. We're going to test it out and make sure it works like it's supposed to. But uh, 
I'll leave. Whoop, I'll leave. <laughs> it probably doesn't work anymore. I'll leave. The, the link will be down in the description down below for this too. So let's get on to the mail call for this Saturday. And a um, little thank you card because I've already sent her my sticker. If you have not checked her out, I kind of feel like the notes are always personal and not um, for everybody. So she wrote me a nice sticker. She's got, I sent her some of my stickers. She's put them on her board. But check out Cat in the North. There's her sticker. It's a pretty cool sticker. I like that. So, you know what we got to do. We got to take it over yonder and put it on the fridge. So let me go over there and do that. And uh, we'll take a look at our stickers because it, it's growing. Got room for more. Be back. Okay, so I've always had this room up top. This little spot here empty. So Cat in the North, you just moved to the top row. Got AK Driller. There's me. Hiking with Sean, Kurt Zetzelman. This has been filmed on Thursday night. He had a video come up. If you hadn't seen it, go check it out. Pretty cool. Mr. Bullet Points. The Real Cobra Burnout. Travels with Delaney. Handy Camper. He Travel Happy. Native Tears. Buddy, see you next weekend. Tennessee Deer Stalker. James G. Outdoor CT. RVA Hiker Girl. She's got a new video up. If you ain't checked it out, go see it. Judy and Spirit in Mickelson Farm Homestead. So, we still got some area here. We still got some area. And if we have to, we'll move all this down here. We'll move everybody. We'll put people down here. But uh, go check out Cat in the North. Okay, I'm going to wrap up the video for this weekend. Second, I want to thank Cat in the North for the nice note. Seen her sticker on the fridge over there. I'll leave a link down below for her YouTube channel. Go check her out. She posts quite often, actually, and has some pretty neat videos. So go check her out. Show her some love. Show her some love. Um, but anyways, guys, we'll be putting this to the test. You'll be seeing what was in this box and in this box in the coming weeks. Next weekend, I'll be in the Smokies. Hopefully the weather gods shine down upon us. And it's a great day. There's a nice little dust spot right there on the lens. And I can see it on the viewer. Oh well. <laughs> um, check out the links below. I appreciate everybody watching. Peter, I appreciate all new subscribers. God bless y'all. Be prepared.